Joblogic Getting Started Guide Once you have signed up to Joblogic, you can get familiar with our software by following this short Getting Started Guide. This guide has been set up to guide you through the steps to set up your company details on Joblogic. It has been designed to support your understanding of the Joblogic system. To start, you will need to go to the Settings menu. This can be found in the Tools menu on the left-hand panel as shown. Once the Settings menu option is opened, you will be presented with menu options to set up your company's libraries. We will start by opening the Company Setup option. You can now add your company address, logo, and generic email address by selecting the orange edit button, and then populating the data, and selecting the save button. Then you can go to the business hours tab as shown. Here you can complete your business hours details, to show your opening hours. The next logical step, is to populate the system setup area. Again by opening the settings menu, and then opening the System Setup tab. Once open you will be presented with six tabs across the top of the page. We will go through each tab in turn. The first tab is already populated with some information, such as UK time zone. You will need to make sure that the engineer mobile, enable tracking, and auto accept costs from mobile are ticked to make full use of the mobile app. The priority, selling rate, and non-productive time data can also be added here. Note that any data area with a red star next to it need to be populated. For example the default selling rates for your labor, travel, call-outs etc. If this is the first time you have used the system, then the selling rate shows as all chargeable works. These can be altered in the selling rate library. The customer email tab holds all of the default email body texts that are sent from within JobLogic to your customers. These can be altered by selecting the orange edit button to the right of each email. The financial tab holds basic company financials such as your VAT number, tax rates and nominal codes. By selecting the edit button you will be able to add in the relevant rates etc. The pay band section can be set up from here, or in the library later on. In order to alter the details, from here select a pay band time as shown. You will then be presented with a pop-up box where you can edit times, costs and color. From the invoice tab, you can set up your default invoice number, and your invoice details for your company. The Quoting tab allows you to input, your default quote header, and footer details, as well as setting a default quote lifespan. The Data tab allows you to permanently delete all of the data you have within JobLogic. There is a failsafe measure, as if you select the red button then a pop-up appears as shown. Here you will need to type the word CONFIRM in capital letters and hit the DELETE DATA button. The next area we will look at is STAFF. From the Settings menu, select the Staff tab as shown. From here you can set up your office staff, and your engineers. First select the green Add User button. You can now populate the data fields as required. Here you can also give permissions for mobile use, and back office use. Once your staff have been set up, you can select a user as shown. Under each user you will have several tabs available at the top of the page which can be used by you to populate more data on each user, as well as setting up specific permissions. Note that if a user has been given mobile login status, they will have an engineer tab, which allows you to populate their records, with trade registration numbers, and specific payband rates. Now that you have gone through, and populated the first three library areas, you can go through the rest of the libraries and set them up as required. There are several pages of libraries available as shown here. Please note that the libraries can be populated either here, or as you use the JobLogic system. This has been a short guide, on how to set up company information on JobLogic.
For further guidance on how to set up your libraries, please contact Joblogic.